so winter is coming up and right now it is a perfect period to think about the winter wheels. I've been using these 15 inch wheels during 6 winters and they have been through a lot of ski resorts. But for this and future winters, I've decided to get something more interesting and original. That's why I bought this original Peugeot 16-inch rims. These rims were produced in 2002 in Italy and they were designed especially for 307 model. Then I bought new 195-55 Ultra Grip Ice 2 Goodyear tires. And I've also decided to get these original Peugeot bolts. So let's recap. 4 rims, 4 new winter tires, 16 Peugeot bolts. Now let's take a look at my car information sticker. It seems that only 15 inch rims can be installed on my model. Let's check some information on wheelsize.com. So the first two lines are the factory parameters and the other three are the custom options. So let's check the 16 inch option. It seems that these two parameters doesn't fit well to my new rims. Let's find out what's going on here. So the first parameter is the rims offset. The smaller the offset, the greater the space between wheels is going to be, or greater the wheel is going to step outside. So the small offset is going to increase corner instability and car simply looks better. But it also has a negative effect. First of all, increased offset causes the suspension damage due to an equal load distribution. Plus you are going to get the sand blast effect, especially in winter. That happens because the wheels are stepping outside the edge and all sand, dirt and small stones are pushed out on your car body. Now let's take a look at decreased offset. The higher offset parameter is, the deeper wheel is going to be built in the car's arch. So the high offset parameter is going to protect your car coating from the sand blast, but is going to decrease corner instability, damage suspension, is going to look bad, and you might encounter with maneuvering problems, for example. After finishing your turn and taking your hands off the steering wheel, the front wheels won't return to initial position. But all those positive and negative effects usually happen when we speak about the great deviations of the recommended parameters, 10mm and higher, so 2mm difference will have no impact in my case. So now let's discuss the second parameter, the rim width. In my case it is 6.5J, and recommended factory parameter is 7J. This parameter shows us a allowable range of tire width profile that can be installed on the rim. I'm gonna show you this range for both types of rims. Here they are. The recommended tire size in my case is 195.55 and it is average value for this type of rim. Maybe you wanna ask me why I didn't take the perfect size. That's why. The front tire was too close to a strut and my finger couldn't even pass through this gap and in case of maximum steering the tire was almost touching the arch liners. Back wheel had a bigger gap but was still too close to the arch liners. So why did that happen if it is the recommended tire size? Because the offset of my new rims is higher than recommended. That's why the wheels with such offset are installed deeper in arch. And the second reason is that it is simply not my recommended tire size. Driving with such a small gap is not safe due to a tire deformation on the high speeds. So always check the recommended standards of your vehicle. Cleaning work was over, I moved outside to work with chemicals. First of all, I wanted to remove the old glue which was left here from the balance weights. That's why I started with bitumen cleaner. Well, it didn't help that much. 
Then I decided to use solvent and degrease the liquids. It didn't work either. I even managed to find the Soviet bitumen cleaner. No results. 646 solvent was my last hope and it barely started working. Then I decided not to turn this process into a muscle growing and used a drill.